Hey everybody, we're on day two here at AUSA. We're actually out in the elements, uh, downtown DC. We've got Al from SolarSick here. How you doing, Al? Good to meet you, Todd. Good to see you too. So, you guys have a pretty innovative product uh, set here, and um, why don't you talk about what SolarStick is and how you're helping the soldier? Sure, we're a company that makes portable uh, solar and other renewable energy power generator equipment. The idea being to provide power and independence for people operating in remote austere locations. So that includes, of course, the military that has to operate in, in a lot of faraway places where there's no power infrastructure, but it also could refer to first responders in a disaster or humanitarian relief operations and similar things like that. So right now, this is fielded in? Right now, it's being uh, fielded in small amounts, okay. mostly by the US Army and a couple of other government agencies uh, in sort of a pilot or testing format. There's, there's dozens of these systems out there, and they've been in, uh, in combat theaters, but at, right now it's relatively low rate. But now you're ready to, we're, to we're, for the we're, market. We're on the cusp of uh, some, some big opportunities. Right, and that's when you just came on with ADS and we're helping get Exactly, exactly why arrest. we wanted a relationship with ADS. Good, so explain the system. Th this is not to replace generators, but to really assist. No, as energy. a matter of fact, the, the purpose of this project, uh, which we've been working on with the U.S. Army since 2009, was to develop a system that would allow us to reduce the runtime and fuel consumption of deployed generators. Right. So we worked with an Army organization, uh, Project Manager Mobile Electric Power Systems uh, at Fort Belvoir, and they asked us to work specifically with the 3KW generator. So this system of equipment represents uh, a kit that we Which put Which is a well-used generator. Uh, the, three, the 3KW Tactical yeah. Quiet Generator, or TQG, is used throughout the force. There are thousands of them, still more thousands to be fielded. So uh, a real need for using these uh, generators in remote austere locations, uh, but also the logistical burden of providing fuel for those generators. So the whole purpose here is to reduce that. And it does by, oh, by you said, two-thirds in some cases, that, correct? That's right. And so an example of a system that we have deployed to Afghanistan is by using the solar and the power management and storage solutions that we've put together as part of this kit, we were able to reduce the generator from running 24 hours a day to running only about eight hours a day. At full capacity. And, and during that eight hours, it runs full load. So that's a better for the generator and better for maintenance. Right, and there's big maintenance issues that this is uh, addressing. Right, uh, diesel generators, they have wet stacking and other problems that, that uh, degrade their performance. And so this helps to uh, address that as well. Now, this is the system right here we're looking at? Right, so we, we generally think about our systems in three main components. There's power generation. So you see here, we have a solar stick. Uh, this solar stick um, is, is sitting here by itself, but we could have two, three more next to it. You, you can also, them. you can daisy chain them. You can put more panels on them so to have even more. And you can also add uh, optional wind generators by adding an additional top mass to this. Um, so that's the renewable energy input to the system. And then we have some power management components. The most important one is something we call a proverter. And basically think of this as the brains of the system. Okay. This, this is the traffic cop for the power. It handles all the power coming in and the power coming out. So I see some outputs here. Right, and so the most important thing this does is it connects to that 3KW generator I said, I mentioned. It, it gives it a way to bring that power in from the generator, and you see a white cord here, and then there's also a control cable which goes to the generator. And the principle is very simple. When the system's energy gets too low, the, the, the proverter here, our product, brings the 3KW generator online by auto-starting it. And in fact, we're the first company and the only company that's developed an approved auto-start solution for the 3KW. And then it'll charge the batteries. Charges the batteries back up, and then when the batteries are full again, it turns the generator off which is why for long periods of time you can operate without the generator. Right, and you could do it at night when there's aren't people. Are, in fact, are, you can are, actually do it by time. So if you had specific periods of time when you knew you needed to have quiet, you could set it up so that it only ran during those other times. So the other, the other main element, and probably one of the most important elements, well, there's another power management component I would just mention called the power hub. That's if you have multiple inputs, such as multiple solar sticks, it gives you a way to connect all of those up. So it's just an aggregator. And then there's a power distribution module um, which, which allows us to um, provide power out to a variety of devices with USBs, uh, cigarette lighter adapter type plugs that are used widely by a lot of military equipment. The last and probably the most important component is the power storage, essentially the batteries. We put our batteries in rugged uh, cases, uh, Pelican cases, and we build them into, the, into there. They're also set up so they can be daisy chained. Uh, we have these in two types. We have them in um, lead acid, traditional lead acid, but also in lithium iron phosphate, which the military is very interested in. And this whole system is a, a, you can be set up by how many people? We say basically this is a two-man setup. Oh, so it's very lightweight. Everything packs up into transit cases that, uh, uh, with, with, that are small enough and light enough for two people to handle. Uh, they can go on small vehicles such as Humvees, transported by helicopter. 
We have trailer-based versions of these if you want to have a, a larger system and you have a truck to pull it. I want to thank you so much for educating us on uh, Solar Stick and the different capabilities you guys are providing for our soldiers. You're very welcome. It's a pleasure. Thanks everyone for watching ADS TV.